it'll be, be from there round to the fruit. It's the purest environment you could ever have. That's what all this, you know, very, very precise pr preparation and precise casting and is all to achieve this truth, I guess. It fundamentally changed how I approach acting and it's it can never been the same since. 171, take three, come on board in the end. You know, there's no marks, so there's no action, there's no cut. You don't have the script as your, as your document, you're just going, you're reacting as it happens, you know, on film. So it, so it, it becomes all emotion and not intellect. It's all right, it's all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. So it was like going on this adventure with all these people who we became very, very close to. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. We're here at the Latitude Festival with Ken Loach. We're about to watch a documentary about Ken's work, then Ken and I are going to do a Q&A. Ken, firstly, why are you here at Latitude? Because I didn't have you down as a kind of festival person. Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big open-air festival person, you're right. But <laughs> um, my, my daughter's been, and she said it would be a good way of showing you're getting down with the kids. So um, I thought I should turn up. Just remind me, how old are you, Ken? No, I don't want to remind <laughs> you. I'll um, j just, just say a senior citizen. Senior yes. citizen. Yes. So is this the first of these sort of festivals that you've been to? I think it is. Um, I've been to lots of... If I wasn't here, I'd probably be at the Toll Puddle Festival, because mm -hmm. it's a great day for the, in the Labour calendar today, as I'm sure you're well yes, aware. Yes, it is. Um, so I might be down there, which also will be an open-air festival of sorts. The Palmer door goes to I, Daniel Blake. <laughs> Now, I, Daniel Blake, won the Palm d'Or at Cannes. Congratulations. I just saw it last week. I loved it. I was really knocked out, but you know I'm a fan of your work anyway, but I yeah. thought it was exceptional. I was surprised by how powerful I found it. How do you feel about the film, and how do you feel about the Palm d'Or win? Because I know you're always a bit like this about prizes. Um, well, first of all, th th thanks. For, I'm, I'm glad you saw it and thought it was OK. I mean, Cannes is the festival of cinema, really, the biggest in the world, and... So to be recognised by that is really important. And um, what is important is that to have the seal of approval there right. means it'll be very difficult for the... or just more difficult for the right wing to disregard it here. It, in a way, it's an endorsement by a, a kind of international festival, a big international festival, that in a way legitimises what the film is trying to do. Um, and of course, we will get we will get um, put under the hammer when it comes out. I'm sure, but in a way, it's it gives it credibility, and that's really important. You'll get put under the hammer because of the subject matter, because it's dealing with somebody who's had a heart attack, who's trying to sort their benefits out, who's been f facing this faceless system. Do you think that's why you'll get flack? We'll get flack because it says this benefit system, the sanction system, um, as part of, the, part of the government's austerity programme, endorsed by the Labour right wing, um, is, uh, is a fair and acceptable way to live. And of course it isn't. It, it's, it's a punishment. It's a punishment for the most vulnerable people. I have to ask you, I interviewed you a couple of years ago on the event mm. of your retirement. <laughs> Since then, you've won the palm. What, mm -hmm. happened, what happened to the I'm, I'm stepping down? You said you might do some documentaries, but not a drama yeah. feature again. No, well, uh, well, you go through phases, don't you? And you, you think, well, I can't do to keep doing this. I think you probably got me at a bad moment when I've, I've been <laughs> having a lot of early mornings. And, um, and then you have a few months when you don't get up at the crack of dawn to mention that awful lady. And... Um, there you, you know, you feel up for it again. So I don't know, but I, as they say in the game, we just take each film as it comes. Okay, <laughs> Ken, there is a, a large sound system which is about to start kicking yes. off, and I want to give you a bit of time before you do I, the. I thought it was your and heart. And it is my heart. heart is it? Being so close <laughs> to such a, a great <laughs> filmmaker. A sort of final thing. Mm. You're about to go out and do a festival crowd, and yes. you know, as you said, it's sort of a bit of a first, and it's a really hot day, and we're it is. sweating buckets and everything. Mm. Are you in any way? nervous or do you just sort of take this stuff in your stride? Um, well now you said it, I am quite nervous, yes. <laughs> uh, and the, uh, the beating heart outside is winding me up even more. So um, yeah, I just hope they don't throw things and they're still here at the end of the film. Okay, well Ken, uh, mm. have a great festival and congratulations so much on our Daniel Blake. I thought it was really, really wonderful and you know, you just keep getting better. Oh well, <laughs> it's nice of you to say that. but. Um, 
I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll just cross our fingers and hope people come and watch it. Thanks, Eric. Cheers, Mark. You could lose everything. Well, I'm not going to give up. When you lose your self-respect, you're done for. Yeah!